الله من الشيطان الرجيم بسم الله الرحمن الرحيم والصلاة والسلام على سيدنا ونبينا محمد وعلى آل بيته الطيبين الطاهرين I start in the name of Allah, the All Merciful, the Ever Merciful and the Everlasting Curse on the Satan and his followers Allah's blessings and peace be upon Muhammad the Prophet and upon his pure lineage Our respected viewers, allow me as usual to quote one of the sayings of the Master of Paradise Al-Imam Al-Hussein alayhi salam when he says Those who are silent when others are oppressed are guilty of oppression themselves Let us ponder and stop for a moment to ponder over what this means Al-Imam Al-Hussein who is the voice of the voiceless Al-Imam Al-Hussein who is an outcry in the face of all forms of corruption is telling us to take stand whenever it comes to corruption is to be firm in our religion and whenever we face something bad we should take a stand in order to change it and to say no that is not what we believe in our respected viewers the ultimate tragedy is not the corruption and the cruelty that being done by the bad people but it's the silence of that by the good people Imam al Hussein's revolution the one that we are going to talk about in details later on is telling us that whenever we see something bad done should take an action in order to change it here in his stand Imam al Hussein is activating what Prophet of Islam his grandfather called for when he says in one of his prophetic traditions that whenever any one of you sees an action of evil being conducted they should take an action to change it whether by their hands or by their words or by their heart and that is the weakest form of faith this is what we should learn deeply from the message of Imam al Hussein a message of humanity a message of change a message of rebellion towards corruption and tyranny Imam al Hussein did not accept humiliation over himself and therefore he sacrificed whatever he had for the sake of Allah in order to keep the flame of Islam alive in life forever our respected viewers peace be upon you and welcome to Imam Hussein a series of episodes in which we talk about the different stages of Imam Hussein's life starting from the very beginning of his life going through the different events that happened to him during his life and then mentioning some of their prophetic quotes said in his rights by his grandfather and then ending up with his unmatchable martyrdom my name is Hassan Hadi and I'm honored to be hosting this program our respected viewers in the previous episode we spoke about the destiny and the realization of that destiny by Imam Hussein and in today's episode we are going to talk in details about Imam Hussein's and the unjust that had been done unto his family Sadly, the sweet years of Imam Hussein's childhood were soon over. He was about seven years old when the Prophet died and left this world. The Prophet's burial, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, ceremony was not over yet when the conspiracies, the plots, were applied to rob the Caliphate. People ignored all the numerous commandments and recommendations of the Holy Prophet of Islam in regards to his next successor the one who is going to come after him as a caliphate our respected viewers the great event of Ghadir had been bailed by negligence and disregard and despite Prophet Muhammad's frequent emphasis on his cousin Ali bin Abi Talib Allah's blessings and peace be upon them both as a successor of his his right for Islamic governorship was usurped from him even Fedek, a fertile land given by the Prophet Muhammad to his daughter Fatima, Allah's blessings and peace be upon her, was seized from the Prophet's progeny by the government ruling of that time. Our respected viewers, the Prophet's Basil, namely Imam Hussein, witnessed the harms and the injuries caused upon his mother over the conflicts of the allegiance, and as a result, lost his mother at the age of eight because of the crisis mentioned before the loss of Prophet Muhammad Allah's blessings and peace be upon him and Imam Hussein's mother on the other hand and the oppression upon the Imam Hussein's father on the other hand 
in addition to the pressures he faced from the government were bothering Hossein's clean soul to keep surviving. Our respected viewers, during this time, Al Imam Al Hussein alayhi salam followed the path of his father Ali ibn Abi Talib and was determined to defend truth with any opportunity he received, even though he was in his youth. He would warn people about the alternations made to Islam after the demise of his grandfather, Prophet of Islam. In the best of manners, Hussein bin Ali, his father, and his brother would express their objection to the alternations rulers of their time had made unto the religion of Islam. In one of the cases, for example, the third caliph had exiled Abu Dhar al-Ghifari, a close companion of the Prophet, Allah's blessings and peace be upon him, from the wrongdoing of expressing his complaints about the caliph's deviation from the path of Prophet Muhammad. Although the third caliph had banned all from bidding farewell to Abu Dhar al-Ghifari, Imam Ali, Hassan and Hussein all went to bid farewell to Abu Dhar al-Ghifari to express their objection upon departing, Hussein turned to Abu Dhar al-Ghifari and said, Dear uncle, the Almighty Lord is powerful indeed and is capable of everything. He can change everything that has happened to you. These people seized your comfort, world and life, yet you protected your religion from their deviations. Truly, you are not indeed of this world and the people dependent upon this world are mostly corrupted. The world has no value in your eyes, even though they are in great need of your way of life. So strengthen your great or oh, ankle and refrain from greediness and loneliness. Do not fear and seek refuge in Allah, for perseverance is a sign of faithfulness and greatness. Our respected viewers, we have reached to an end of today's episodes. Let's pray from our hearts that Allah the Almighty hasten the reappearance of the master of our time and to make us from his soldiers and supporters and to deeply enable him to interpret verbatim the words of Al Hussein, his grandfather, when he says, Verily, I only desire to spread good values and to prevent evil from this world. This is what we have for you in today's episode. Until we meet with a new episode, thank you very much indeed for tuning in. And assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh.